Hey everyone, The Smoking Android here. I just wanted to do a really quick video um, before I show you a new ROM that I downloaded um, from Kenneth Pence's new Alien ROM Beta number two. But anyways, before we get ahead of ourselves here, um, some people may find that um, that um, they're, when they load a new ROM, they're because uh, there's a bug with um, with this 2.3.4, some of the ROMs, the 1%, the it jumps from like, you know, like 87%, and then you'll turn off your phone, and, <clears throat> and then it'll, and then you reboot it, and, it, and it'll jump up to like, you know, 92%, and then you'll turn it off, and it, it just bounces around a whole lot, and it's really annoying, so, um, there's actually a fix for that, that a lot of people have downloaded, um, and it's from Juggernaut on XDA forums, and um, basically, it's a lot of people. There's some misconceptions. People think that it's um, uh, to fix the actual battery life of the phone. It's not so. It's just to fix um, the 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 battery jumping issue for the one percent mods and, and whatever else. Um, so, anyways, let's get started. So, I downloaded it, and I'll be posting a link below in the description for you guys. It's a it's a small file. Um, <clears throat> so, anyways, I just wanted to show you guys how to do this. So, first of all, we're going to plug in our uh, USB cable, and um, actually when, we're, when we get into Clockwork uh, Mod, I'm going to show you guys a neat little trick that um, has always been there, but I didn't know if it worked or not on this particular version of Clockwork Mod, but anyways, uh, give me a second here, you're going to have to apologize, I don't have my tripod with me right now, so one sec, and we're plugging in the USB, alright, so... Oh, and another, I'll show you guys something cool here. Right. <laughs> All right, so then we're going to USB connection, mass storage. Um, make sure that when you load your new ROM that you have um, unknown sources checked. And in development, you have USB debugging. All right, so we're going to... Um, Open up your SD card and just click and drag it in there. Real quick file, 230 kilobytes, so it's nothing. Then we're going to go ahead and uh, unmount the phone. Alright. Then we'll go ahead and unplug that. And uh, this is actually the first time I'm applying this fix. Um, <laughs> so uh, hopefully you don't have any more bloopers. Hurry up. There we go. Power and volume down. Booting into Android Recovery. And, oops, shit. I accidentally hit the power button on that. <clears throat> and um, as far as I understand, there is no wiping of anything um, to install this. So uh, I'm going to take their word for it. And um, go down to here, which is the file. Get a good angle on this. Come on, lighting, for God's sakes pissing me off whatever I'm sure you there we go you can make it out a little bit anyways okay there we go that was nice and quick um, anyways little trick I wanted to show you guys was um, if you ever forget when you're in clockwork uh, mod um, to uh, load a certain put a certain file on the on your SD card um, you can always instead of powering back up and everything you go down to mounts and storage Okay, mount and storage. Anyways, and then once you're in there, you can scroll on down to mount USB storage, which is right there. Okay, and once you click that, it's going to mount it. And then you plug in your USB cable, and it'll pop up on your computer, just like as if you were opening it up from my computer. Do any make the necessary changes you need, adding or removing files from there, and then you're going to unmount it from your computer first then unplug the USB cable and then you're gonna hit uh, scroll down to the unmount option in there and um, then you can go ahead and back out and continue on doing whatever the hell you need to do 
So it just saves you a bit of time instead of like rebooting all the time. Anyways, so we're going to go back and um, hopefully this fixes uh, the patch. So I just wanted to show it. Obviously, you guys won't be able to um, see whether or not it worked. Uh, but I'll probably let you guys know that in the next video on the um, the ROM uh, little walkthrough that I'm going to do for uh, Kenneth Penn's new Alien ROM. But uh, I just wanted to show you that's something you can do if you are experiencing those battery jump issues in your, in your battery meter. Um, there'll be a link in the description, like I said, and uh, hopefully that'll fix it for you guys. Um, it is international and AT&T compatible, so uh, go ahead and flash away. All right, guys, that's it. Smoking Android. Sanding out, bitches. Don't forget to subscribe, please.